Hello guys, good morning to everyone. Welcome to Sir Mio's Garden. Sir Mio Blogs is here. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Hello guys, good afternoon to everyone. Once again, this is Sir Mio Blogs. Welcome to my mini paradise. My mini garden in Gomez Street, Pamplona, Uno, Las Piñas City. I hope you're fine and safe. And for today's vlog, it's another plant video about the one that I have. This is called the, the Popular Philodendron Ceylon Gold. This is an evergreen ornamental climber house plant. This unique plant has no back lobes on its leaves. It has paddle shaped leaves that are bright, almost fluorescent green color. Philodendron is one of the best air purifying plants that remove airborne toxins such as formaldehyde, benzene, and trichloethylene from the atmosphere. These plants are poisonous, keep away from children and pets. So what are the other names? So the scientific name of this plant is Philodendron Ceylon Gold. Why gold? Is that because of its foliage, it's ranging from yellow to gold. If you try to match this with the other common green plants, you can easily notice this plant because of its use or colors. Common names of this are the following. Philodendron Golden Emerald, Fiddle Leaf Philodendron, Gold Satin, Philodendron Golden Erubescence, Velvet leaf. What a stunning plant. So how to take care how to take care and grow philodendron Ceylon gold? Let's go with the light requirement. So this plant thrives well in bright indirect light but can tolerate shady spots. Avoid direct sunlight. We are not allowed to place this in full sun or direct sunlight because there are three possible bad effects. Results or outcomes. First, they will be having scorched leaves, and then second, they will be having dark or brown edges on its leaves, and we don't want that to happen. And number three, we will have sunburns on its leaves. So if there are white splotches or splotches of white in the center of its leaves, that is already considered one of the causes of that is sunburn. Then let's go with the soil requirement. This philodendron Ceylon Gold grows best in a well-drained but moist rice organic mix. Try to avoid wet, muck, or dry or sandy soils. So for you to have a lush, bush, healthy philodendron Ceylon Gold, it is advisable for us to make use of soils that are fast draining and absorbing. The garden soil must be a combination of loom soil, pumice, vermicast, coco peat, rice sol, and we are not allowed to make use of sandy soils. Then for the water requirement, water your plant regularly during the growing season and always keep the soil evenly moist but never allow your plant to sit in water. You can allow the top soil to become slightly dry between each watering. Then during winter months, reduce watering. So it's not advisable for us to overwater the plant because that is one of the causes for us to have root rotting. And eventually, our plants will get die. Then for the temperature requirement, it thrives well in temperatures between 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or equivalent to 13 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Avoid cold drops. Then for the fertilizer requirement, it's already proven and tested by Sermio Blogs that when you are using eggshells that are powderized and plan to put that on top of the soil, that is serving as our organic fertilizer for our philodendrons. Philodendrons are liking calcium contents and that is one of the mediums for us to boost its growth in terms of its foliage and height. Fertilize the plant with a slow-release fertilizer during spring and a liquid-based fertilizer every two to four weeks during the warmer months. 
take care not to dilute your solution to have the recommended dose to avoid burns. If we try to have a maximum, everything is good but in moderation. But if that goes beyond for the fertilizer that goes beyond the recommended, we will be having burns on its leaves. Then for the repotting guys, repot the plant every spring into pots one size bigger until they are in the largest convenient size pot. Then for the propagation, this is easy to propagate. It can be easily propagated by upshoot stem cuttings or by air layering or use tissue cultures. That's it. Then for the pests and diseases, there is no serious pest or disease problems with this plant. They are susceptible to attacks by mealybugs and aphids. You know what guys, what I do really love about this plant is that aside from its foliage, I'm considering this as money magnet guys. Why money magnet? Because they are removing those not so good vibration, thoughts, anxieties, conflicts, arguments in your home. This is worth having in next year 2023 would you imagine that someone or something like this especially philodendron ceylon gold gives you more abundance prosperity peace healing love and concentration if you place this in the east portion why east portion because that is one of the most powerful locations and places in the bagua map Philodendron is a common house plant, but that doesn't mean this isn't special. The shape of its leaves look uncannily similar to her heart and represents the far element in Feng Shui. Some of these philodendron guys are having heart shape, but this one is close to heart shape. These plants are said to bring in light and positive energy into the home without needing much sunlight to thrive. I'm really happy having this plant guys. You will never regret having this plant in next year 2023. This plant can bring you prosperity, good fortune and clean air. We all know that plants are good for us both physically and mentally but according to Feng Shui some plants also bring good fortune. While not everyone believes in the Chinese practice and that is Feng Shui, the possibility of a little extra luck never hurt. So this plant is really amazing guys and I'm really much happy because one of my good friends gave this to me. If someone gives you a gift and that is a plant or any type of plant, either it's house plant, lucky plant, money plant, it only means one thing guys. That person wants to establish to have that strong sense of relationship with you and that person also wanting to your relationship to last longer aside from this guys is that if there were ever a plan that's perfect for people who are terrible with plants it's the golden ceylon philodendron not only are they easy to keep healthy seriously they're hard to kill than to keep alive but they come in a very variety of beautiful shades and can be kept as cheerful bushy plants or graceful trailers i think that's it for today guys thank you so much for all the love and the support that you're giving me Every time we're watching my premiere, my new uploaded videos, this channel wouldn't be possible without your support and dying love, trust to serve me your blogs. If there are recommended, suggested plants, the one that you need me to feature in my next blog, kindly comment it in the comment section so that I can easily check on those things. Thank you so much again. Shao shao, take care and that in all things, God may be glorified.